And then the Swiss National Bank has kept its interest rates on hold at record lows, citing the strong currency and an absence of price pressures. Well, Matt Miller spoke with the SMB president, Thomas Jordan. The economy is only growing at 1.1 percent. Uh, this is below expectations and weaker than many other countries in the, in the world at this moment. So if you look at all indicators, models uh, that evaluate the Swiss franc, we see that overall the Swiss franc remains significantly overvalued, and this is the base for our judgment. What do you think you can do to, to, to curb that overvaluation? I mean, for example, are further rate cuts still on the table? Well. We do not exclude further rate cuts. Uh, we look at the, our inflation forecast, at the economic situation, and then, of course, we evaluate all our options, and then we see what kind of uh, instruments uh, we should take. So for the time being, we stick to our monetary policy with negative interest rates of minus uh, 0 0.75 base, uh, percent and our willingness to intervene in foreign exchange market if necessary. How much more can you intervene in foreign exchange markets? You already have the third largest holding of foreign exchange mm -hmm. reserves in the world. You've got a balance sheet, 120 percent GDP. I mean, how much mm -hmm. further can you go in that direction? Well, in that respect, respect if there is no specific limit. So we do always a cost-benefit analysis. And as long as we are convinced that we have to influence monetary conditions through interventions or the combination of negative interest rates and interventions, we are willing to do that.